Now our next topic, what are the buzzwords you will remember? What are the anatomical drainage? I have given you in the notes. Just you need to have a review before you go to exam. And uh, the edema in the mastoid area, marked proptosis. These are the three to four important buzzwords which you should not basically forget. The next important topic for the examiner is CMV retinitis. First let us go through a bit of uh, imaging uh, images on CMV, CMV retinitis. This is a classical fundus in case of uh, CMV retinitis. We welcome our online students, Dr. Nina, Sarvodaya, Madhvi, Jabalpur, Tejos. Guntur is also online today. Very good, very good, doctor. How about Kadapa? Today, Kadapa, are they running the video? Previous video, recorded video. Okay. So, um, CMV retinitis. Slow progression starting in the periphery of the retina spreading along the retinal vasculature and leading to hemorrhage and uh, hemorrhage. These are all the important issues. What is this appearance called as? Tomato ketchup appearance of the retinitis is typical of CMB retinitis. Now doctor, let's talk, uh, this one all uh, we have finished the major part of ophthalmology already. Today is like a optional extra class, the last class uh, in ophthalmology. So the major uh, chunk of questions, 10 questions will come in ophthalm, whether it is NEET or state PG entrance. Glaucoma, cataract, uveitis, retinoblastoma. Oh, dasti laga ke baid jayate. Without those topics, there are no question paper. So, almost 7 out of 10 questions are standardized. The, for the remaining 3 questions, we need to read 40 topics. So, that is the whole uh, story. So, that is the reason we need to have the limited uh, review of uh, what is definitely going to be asked. Hmm? <clears throat> now, CMB. CMV general features, what type of virus it is, how it is transmitted, blah, 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 leave it. Anyway, in microbiology, we have to read. Let's straight go to the ocular part. CMV can lead to chorioretinitis, which is necrotizing in nature, which typically starts peripherally, growing towards central part of retina and ultimately leading to total retinal invasion. It also leads to vitreous becoming hazy. And we have drawn one equator in retina, no? So central part of that equator is whatever that is inside the equator is posterior pole. Posterior pole is the one which is most commonly involved in the case of the CMB. So it's all the story of congenital CMB. CMB is one of the group of torch infections, toxoplasma, herpes and uh, cytomegalovirus, syphilis, etc. Now, acquired CMB, where do you see, doctor? In immunocompromised, the HIV positive individuals or uh, anyone who is immunocompromised for whatever be the reason. So, how do you recognize CMB retinitis? Yellow white exudates in the areas of the retinal necrosis then there will be areas of vasculitis and retinal hemorrhage. And uh, typically it is described as a tomato ketchup on a cottage cheese. cheese. Tomato ketchup on a cottage cheese retinopathy it is called as. Typically in the posterior pole of the retina, we come across the tomato ketchup appearance. CMB retinitis is one of the causes for the exudative type of retinal detachment. Yesterday we discussed, you know, 
exudative, tractional, regmatogenous, retinal detachment, all those concepts. So, exudative retinal detachment. Ultimately, CMV can lead to the development of retinal atrophy. So, what is the treatment, doctor, in uh, case of the CMV retinitis? Intravenous dihydroxypropylmethylguanine is considered to be the very, very effective antiviral which is uh, used in the case of the CMV retinitis. So that is all the story about CMV retinitis. Tomato ketchup starting peripherally leading to retinal necrosis. They are the buzzwords that you need to remember.